Good morning, good evening, everybody. Good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are in this ever expanding universe. Of course, you know, this is Rockin' Larry Lockin. Coming to you at about 1.43 a.m. on a Sunday morning from the Oregon coast, overlooking the Pacific Ocean. Um, the Pleiadian Lyran Orb Collective has a message that they would like to share, and I'm not sure exactly right at this point what it is, but I'm going to kind of let them come through and, you know, say whatever they have to say and see where this goes. Take a couple deep breaths. We, the Pleiadian Lyran Orb Collective, as we like to call ourselves, so, so Earth humans can have a label or a wording to define us by. We, of course, are a very old soul collective. We, our primary bodies have been on motherships for eons now of your time close to a billion years of your time. We station our ships mainly around the Pleiades and of course for our Earth visits. We came from Lyra when our planet was destroyed during the Orion Lyran Wars of a billion years ago. We fled to the Pleiades like so many other, like so many of the other Lyran humans and Lyran cat humans did. A lot of us stayed on motherships though around the Pleiades. We did not we did not per se go right to a planet and start building up that planet like many did. Like there are like the many Earth like ascended planets at various levels in the Pleiades. We've stayed on city like motherships, just kind of roaming the galaxy. Roaming the Milky Way galaxy. We many wars on our planets even in the Pleiades in the beginning many wars interplanetary wars many wars on individual planets vicious wars wars that dis destroyed cities big cities with skyscrapers twice as big as the ones you may think of now in places like New York City or Los Angeles or London, Munich, wherever, Paris. These skyscrapers were destroyed by a thermonuclear exchange. Civilizations were wiped out on some of our planets before, for millions of years before, with the guidance of our older Lyran, Lyran family members and mainly because of the Arcturian influence, the Arcturians being patient with us and helping guide us, like we are trying to pay it forward, helping Earth humans. Think of it as like a grandparent, parent, child relationship, but not with the control factor. We would like to say that this message here will be directed mainly at American star seeds, actually completely at American star seeds. This does not this does not necessarily pertain to star seeds of any other country, the wonderful, brilliant star seeds of any other country. This pertains to the star seeds of America and the citizens of America too. It's time to start slowing down a little bit. And I know this may sound cliche, as the Lyran Orb Collective, as we would like for you to refer us to, because we travel down here in orbs. It, the Earth is still yet too dense for our light bodies to appear here, like our human light bodies. So we travel down in orbs, sometimes our own, and sometimes we into collectives of them. We would like to say that the great American star seeds, especially, need to step up and lead this and 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 set by example like you do but make it more known you know just drop subtle hints to people to slow down a little bit maybe you know go out and take a walk 
um, anything you can do. Turn the TV off, you know, for an hour or two. These are the small things, you know, keep the radio off. These are things that should be being done already, but because in such mass number these things are on all the time, Americans are under a frequency control. Americans also need to slow down on their addictions, which is anything. We see <coughs> addictions of all kinds. We see drugs, we see alcohol, we see gambling, we see sex, we see shopping, we see caffeine, even by people that don't think that they use drugs or using something to keep them going through their day. We see them use 20 shots of coffee, you know, all through the day and more and more. We also see people addicted to their favorite TV program, and that's all they live for. Americans, what you're trying to do is you're, you, and the, the, the collective understands, you are trying to avoid life at any cost. You are trying to avoid feeling. You're trying to numb yourself to make yourself comfortably numb, as the great Lyran band Pink Floyd would say with the Lyran prism symbol comfortably numb you, you you need to take steps to re into reattune yourself with not just nature 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 is a big step away from a lot of Americans you need to reintune yourself just with life in general around you you need to start thinking in the now moment what you're doing now and not think about you're caught in a constant perpetual cycle. Even Americans that don't use any substances, including coffee for the majority, are stuck in a cycle of getting up. When they get up, they wonder what's going to go on at work. They get to work right away. They wonder, what am I going to have for lunch? What's going on at lunch? Lunchtime comes. They're not really enjoying their lunch. They're maybe enjoying that they're on a break, but they're not enjoying their lunch because they're wondering, well, oh, what's going to go on this afternoon at work? i to get this done. Then when they're in that moment in the afternoon, they're wondering about, oh, well, what am I going to have for dinner when I get home? What's going on there? Get home, whatever they're doing for dinner. What's on TV? They're not thinking about enjoying their meal or really being in tune with anybody else around them. They're thinking about what's, gonna, what's on TV afterward. Am I going to watch Dancing with the Stars? Am I going to watch The Voice? Am I going to watch The Kardashians? And on and on and on and on. And then what do they do? While well, they're watching it, oh, they're enjoying it. Kind of in tune a little bit under the frequency mind control. But, you know, as the commercial comes on, all they're thinking about is what's going to happen next when it comes back. They're looking for that next fix. They're looking for something. They're looking, they're looking completely outward. You're looking completely outward, Americans, for the most part. And even people that are conscious of what I'm saying realize that because of the energy around you, it's very important to be careful. Americans, star seeds, especially because American star seeds are very strong willed souls. And the, the, the issue that we are concerned about in 3D is that you. American star seeds versus normal American citizens can handle more than one addiction at once. They like three, four, five of them. All Americans have at least one addiction at once, even what you call, quote unquote, call square or straight. They still have a TV addiction, a shopping addiction that, con that consumes their mind. This is not a judgment thing. This is just the truth that consumes their mind. Now, the degree of which it affects their 3D life that's not what the Orb Collective means. It does not matter if it ruins somebody's life or if they stay wealthy all the time and can handle it. What we're talking about is a vibration here. Nothing good or bad. We're talking about a vibration. A light, sweet vibration. We're talking about opening up to what's going on around you. They talk about going out in nature. You need to go out in nature as much as you can. But you also need to really just stop for a minute and be in tune to what's going on around you. In Starseeds, it's hard in America, but you are leaders. You are leaders and strong-willed. That's why you do have the fortitude to handle. And we're not saying that it's good or bad. 
because there is no judgment, but you're able to handle a large number of things and multiple at once for, versus most Americans who handle a couple things or one thing at once but are obsessed with it as well. American star seeds, you are you were chosen here. You are the best of the best. Some of you were great leaders in Lemuria, and the others of you were great leaders in Atlantis. Mm -hmm. When the war happened between the two of them, you know, the nuclear war. It happened, no, oh, I don't know, circa 6, 10, 15,000 years ago. It's hard to really say. And you and, and we don't know such times. We don't we don't live in your earth times, but we know about it. We were there too. We know the nuclear war, the Atlantis the Atlantis landmass that mostly was a big ship. The center of Atlantis was a huge, huge mothership. Atlantis struck Lemuria first. Lemuria returned fire, struck them. That is why today you have the outback of Australia like it is. It was nuked by Atlantis with weaponry three times in excess of what you in the United States have today with your government. In return, Antarctica's surface was turned to ice in, this, in, the, in a cold age, in an ice age, due to this return fire. It can have both effects. It can turn it into a barren deserty outback type situation or it can turn something into an ice age. Now we do realize yes there are bases in there that is teeming with different life under the surface and on Antarctica, Antarctica but the Orb Collective is not here today to talk about that. We are here to talk about American star seeds and Americans in general just slowing down. You leaders, American star seed leaders, you are here and a lot of souls in America are here from Lemuria and Atlantis to learn to work together. America in the middle. Atlantis started on our east coast and went clear back to Europe with their big mothership being in the middle. The center capital, what you see in pictures of Atlantis, that part was a mothership. But there was land, much land all around it like any continent. And most of the United States was ocean, the continental U.S., until you got to the coast of Oregon and Washington and the very north part of California and B.C. and Canada. Lemuria started there and went all the way down through Australia and over across the Pacific. Those two continents had that war. And in between was the ocean at the time between them. America is everything that is great and everything that is dark that needs to be faced. Great people, great wonderful leaders that have some lessons to learn and some dark issues to face. American Starseeds, what we're telling you is that you are very special. You are, you are looked up to. You are, you are. Everybody is their own leader. There is no gurus either. Like the great Bridget Rao said, gee, you are you. You are your own guru, but when I mean leaders and our definition of leaders, we mean people that just speak by example, okay? And just their greatness comes through. But they're looked up to because of who and what of what they do, not who they are necessarily. American star seeds and American people just slow down a little bit. Take a, take start by taking a few minutes and just before you start your car, when you get home, maybe just sit there for a few minutes in your car and think about what's around you. Take a quick walk. Smell the flowers. You know, just talk to somebody for five minutes. I know it's hard to get off the cell phones. The collective understands that. It's hard to get away from your your gadgetly attachments, especially in America with the high frequency control that is put over your country by all your towers and technology and and some of the dark forces that have snuck in to power in centuries past in America. 
Americans slow down and just learn to love life a little bit and be that shining example. You are here to work together. You are the great Atlantean leaders and the great Lemurian leaders that were manipulated into a misunderstanding and starting a very tragic thing, a very tragic nuclear war with three times the weaponry, like we had mentioned, three times the technology and weaponry. Okay, that war set off the pole shift, which set off the great flood that you think of as Noah's Ark or the deluge. And it was over really quick, and a lot of us got out of here on ships. The Atlanteans, most of them got out of here on ships. Slumerians got out of here in Merkabas and things of that nature, and our ships as well. The Orb Collective was down here at the time as ambassadors to try to negotiate between you two. And it looked positive for a while. We had some good times all with you here, even in our light body form, or almost an almost dense human body form. But when it went down, it all went down in a day. And it's been very hard for the Orb Collective to address this with you because we have still, still memories in our Akash about watching your planet blow up and burn from our, from our starships as we were leaving. And there was nothing we could do. We had to get out of here. It was, it was terrible. People we loved and lost and have reconnected with now have, have drowned. They drowned. Some of you drowned. A lot of you drowned. But a lot of you made it off in ships and you're fighting remembering this war in your memory. But that's okay. But now is the time to uh, understand and get along and not think about your differences. Not think about such things of that nature. Geographically, and this does not necessarily re reflect the entire of what I'm going to say, but we would like to tell you also that most Atlantean American and Carney starseeds are live on your East Coast now, or some parts of your Midwest and Southeast. A lot, most Lemurian souls that were or that were stationed in Lemuria, that were just incarnate stationed there. Most of them were in the USA. They were either in Hawaii, which Hawaii was the peak, was the middle of Lemuria, and it was snow-filled mountains then, and in a snowy area, much like your northern Canada or Alaska. The west coast of the United States, again, we will include British Columbia of Canada, and a lot of your Rocky Mountain area. A lot of Lemurian incarnates come back and were born there. There are some crossovers, true, but the major, for the majority, that is true. The East has the Atlanteans because that's closer to where they were, and of course, out west here, the Lemurians. The Pleiadian there in Orb Collective would like you to step into your greatness too and understand how great you are. You are a hybrid of the great Atlantean and great Lemurian leaders. Just know that. We have no judgment on your addictions or what you call earth compulsions. We have no judgment. We just are here to tell you and to kind of subtly, if you're an American star, so you know, sit and remind people, you know, take a walk in nature. Turn the TV off for a few. Turn the radio off. Put the cell phone down. Talk talk for five minutes. Have somebody give you five minutes. So that starts something. Start from there. And just kind of look at what's around you. Okay. It's not just as simple for everybody to go out in nature or things like that. Those are cliches, but those are very important. Yes, if you are anywhere and have that opportunity, you... It's, we would say it's, it would be a good idea to do that. But just in general, turn your gadgets off, be in tune, relax a little bit. The compulsion 
is really crazy in America and wild, and you guys are kept dancing as fast as you can. <laughs> Just keep going and going and <sighs> so you hit a wall. And it's deeper than that even in the mind. The mass marketing you've been flooded with from all directions. The experiments done on you. It, it's a lot for the Lyranor Collective to get into because it does upset us and there's so much in it. We will talk about it possibly at another time, but our mission at this time is just to kind of be here and support and guide you. And before we depart, we also have with us a special group of our friends that we intermingle with very much, very much when we're here on Earth. You can usually find us hanging out with them, and especially in, in your nighttime, and that is the tree realms. Oh, the tree realms. The tree realms would like to express how much they love you, and they are here. We are ascended souls. We are the tree realms. We are here to take stress from you, to relax you, to nurture you with oxygen, to provide nutrients for not only your body, but for your soul. If you're in tune with us, you can see us all the time, especially in your nighttime. We're always hanging around. We're always smiling. We're always making smiley faces in the trees around you. We're hanging out just to watch over you. For those of you that are not around trees, our loving energy is still being sent to you. We are here for Mother Earth, for Gaia. If you happen to be around us or see us in the woods, say hi to us. We're there. We're listening. We hear you. We're all around you. We are the tree realms. And that is all we have to say. Thank you so much. And thank you to our great friends, our great friends from the Pleiades and Lyra, the Pleiadian Lyra and Orb Collective, the rainbow angelic orbs that they are. I know they're, they're a bit humble and don't like to refer to themselves as that, but they are the rainbow angelic orbs and they're beautiful. Thank you. And with that, the Orb Collective comes back in and again before they depart. They just wanted to tell everybody how much they love them and how much we love all our brothers and sisters and family members all over the world. This was just kind of a pep talk wake up call that we wanted to give to address the Americans and the American star seeds. Hang in there. It will not be long before things will be better. It is already happening around you, but at the same time, a lot of people are still stuck in the illusion. So it's important for you to stay very grounded and stay steadfast and focused. Okay, because you're absorbing that energy, but you're also giving it back out and you can make that decision to pass on that positive energy, to pass that back. The Lyran Pleiadian or Lyran Pleiadian, however you would like to refer to us. We all come from the same place. All Pleiadians are from Lyra, originally. But the Pleiadian, the beautiful Pleiadian multi-star system, multi-multi-star system, is here for you to guide at this time. We will be coming the Pleiadians will be coming more and more part of your reality. You will start to even at some point, you're going to start to in subtle ways by entertainers that have not sold out to the Illuminati that are up and coming that are not part of that. You're going to see in songs, you will see in maybe a movie or two subtly TV show, you will hear the Pleiadians mentioned just subtly because that's how we do it. We come right sudden to you to remember, to make you not meet us, but to remember us. And you will know who we are when we come. You will know. 
Hear us, we're you. We're your family. And we are the Pleiadians of the Pleiadian Lurinor Collective. With that, we will wrap it up and say your favorite earth word, namaste, and lots of love. <laughs>